What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. We're talking about chatterbaits, but I'm not here to tell you how to fish them, where to fish them, the gear to use them on. That's what I'm talking about. This is a newcomer's guide to chatterbaits. And where I want to start is with the first chatterbait you should buy, the second one, third and fourth. Okay, so we'll go from there. So if I were buying the first chatterbait ever, I would 100% go with white. Some form of white, whether that's all white, this is a clear water shad color. The reason to do that is because every lake, pond, river across the country has bait fish in it. Whether that be minnows or shad, uh, sometimes bluegill can actually get a very pale color as well but all of them have bait fish, and this thing represents that bait fish. Now, it's going to work really well in clear water. It's gonna work really well in murky water. It will still work in muddy water as well. So, some form of white, that's my first purchase, hands down. Use it everywhere. Now, if I've already bought some chatterbaits, but I'm looking to expand my collection, the second chatterbait I would buy is black and blue. This one is merely going to allow us to separate clear to murky water from murky water and muddy water, okay? So clear to murky water, muddy and murky, all right? So now we can distinguish between the two and really kind of start increasing our catch ratio. Number three, the third chatterbait I would buy if I were investing in chatterbaits is a bluegill pattern. If the body of water that you have doesn't have bait fish of some kind, it definitely has bluegill. And this gill pattern works. This is Brett's gill, I think is what it's called. And this this pattern, man, bass just hammer bluegill so bad. They hammer it so hard. Um, that gold blade, it's just something a little bit different. Um, if you don't uh, have this one available, this with the gold blade or anything, you can also do green pumpkin. It's going to do the same thing. So... With these two, one of these two, we're trying to uh, imitate bluegill. Now, in all three of those options, if you have heavier, heavier gear, half ounce. Lighter gear, you're going to go with three eighths ounce. If you're really scared or kind of intimidated by a half ounce or for whatever reason, you have reservations about using a really large chatterbait to start out with. Z-Man does make another option, which is incredibly good, which is the Mini Max. So if you look at the size comparison to a standard jackhammer, uh, the size is a lot smaller. You can throw that on lighter line. You can throw it on less, less specialized gear, really. Um, but what I love about this is that even though it's a tiny bait, a small profile, that hook, super stout. So you're not going to worry about bending out on a big fish or anything like that. So I hope that helps you quick and dirty, straight to the point, no frills, um, white, blue, bluegill. Let me know in the comments if you found this a little bit helpful. Let me know in the comments if you disagree with me, if you have a different order that you would buy them. And if you have the money, the last piece of advice, if you have the money, buy two of each. <laughs> because the last thing you want is to only have one and be catching fish and not have another one to fall back on. So anyway, I hope that video helped you out. I'm Ryan Fisher, and as always, wherever you are, Whatever you catch, love the cast.